right, ladies and gentlemen. Bon appetit. Tonight's host, he needs no introduction. In this corner, starting from the other corner. Are we live? I was going to make a joke about No Shave November and how we don't ever have to. We're not live, to. right? Yeah, we are. No, <laughs> I thought we were testing. Cut this. Oh, no, we can't cut this. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boys and girls, gather around tonight's hosts. Need no introduction, although I will introduce them. Please. They've been doing No Shave November since they turned 12. For I'm Ben. Minutes, that wasn't very long ago. And I'm Daniel. <laughs> and this is the time for another bad podcast. It's okay. We'll take a break because my mom texted me. She just landed. Yeah, I need a beer. I'll be right back. Okay. A few moments later. You done? With what? Your break. <laughs> My what? Your break. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. good. Did you get your beer? Mm-hmm. Cool. What are you eating? I just found it in the kitchen. Chicken strip. Oh, nice. I went to Zaxby's today and had a chicken strip. No, I don't like chicken. I'm sorry. Tell me about Zaxby's. How you don't like chicken? Been? I want you to break that down first, then I'll tell you about Zaxby's. Okay, like your car, I will break down. Okay. Um, that was not only a dig at your car, but also at you. Yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> Dude, I love this group. <laughs> uh, my mom, when she'd make fried chicken, would always make it with a very, very thin coat of batter. Like, mm-hmm. paper thin. Like, maybe just a flour coating, which is super thin. Mm-hmm. And not a double coat. One coat. And you like that? I love it. This was like that. I hate thick batters. I hate when you're biting through a fucking foot of solid... Like, you couldn't even cut through it with a welding machine. I agree. A welder. What is it called? Welding torch? I agree. I like a good medium one, but I also like one that's just barely on, which Zaxby's is just barely on. You could see the real, the real, the chicken in parts of it. I like it barely on. It was good. The second reason I don't ever get chicken at a restaurant... Is because it always tastes like it's been cooked. Oh, better yet. Like when you could buy Tyson strips, they're mm-hmm. already cooked. You just have to <clears throat> bake them in the oven. You've got that already cooked taste. Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> so, like, God rest my soul, I've ever had a complaint about the ranch house. Mm-hmm. Never thought it would happen. I ordered from ch- some chicken, from fried chicken from there. And oh my god, like, you pull it apart and it was like, the chicken doesn't even have the feel of chicken anymore. It feels like it's breaking apart, like fried meat ice. It's just Dude, weird. Stop. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. it, it feels like it's been cooked. Yeah. Kept in the fridge and boom, recooked or cooked in the microwave. Just because it wasn't crunchy, it wasn't crispy. It was meat soggy. just peeled off, like, yeah. Dude. That I had that the last time I went there. With you I guys. experience that every time I get chicken anywhere. Not at that degree, but that same feeling. Mm-hmm. So I don't get chicken anywhere except oh my god, I forgot to tell you my favorite chicken. What is it? <laughs> what is it? KFC Nashville Hot. I love that really? so much. It is like a sweet, a little bit spicy sauce. Super. What are you greasy. doing tomorrow? I guess we're going to Nashville. We're going to I mean, Berryville. Yes. <laughs> you serious? Yes. Oh my God. You fucking sicken me. When you're on your deathbed, you're going to be like, oh, I can't have my funeral day. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I got sick. Damn. You have the points, though? I mean, the PPTO? I used all my PPTO. I don't have mm. points, though. Damn. How many points you got? Good. 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 I'm proud of you. Don't ever get above that. Hey. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Remind me I did this <laughs> and I'll remember. I wish you had pancakes like in here. Why don't we go to IHOP right now? Yes. Remember when we used to have fun like that? Dude, let's I'm down to what do it. What happened to this friendship group? You know what, dude? I'm down to do it if you don't work tomorrow. I've been drinking. Well, wait and I don't hours. work tomorrow. We'll wait a couple hours, then we'll go. Let's face it, I've been drinking for a good solid two years now, and I get over this pretty quick. Good. So we're I feel like the chicken strips already sobered me up. So we're going. You didn't have chicken strips. I just did. 
Oh, oh. That's what I was munching. Oh. <laughs> I thought you thought you had eaten chicken strips while we were talking about them. <laughs> I was like, what? We were just talking. <laughs> no, um, back to KFC. I, I, so I don't order chicken. I don't like going to chicken places because the breading is so disgusting. But Well, I will die on this hill. Chick-fil-A is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. And I think they cook it fresh. I don't really care for Chick-fil-A. Well, I don't really care for your opinion on Chick-fil-A. Because it's incredible. Also, <laughs> Zaxby's was good. And uh, Raising Cane's is a good chicken strip. Okay, let me rephrase this. Because you might not be a chef like me. Okay. Um, once you acquire a certain affinity for cooking at home... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I don't have the time, though, dude. Look... I'm not even going to make the joke. I make that joke way too much. Yeah. <laughs> You're no. Yeah. Uh, I understand that. You need to try sous vide. Because that cooks it faster or what? Because it doesn't take as much time. Like, if you go to fry a steak, now, I get it. Gordon Ramsay, he sears it, then he bakes it. But I don't have a pan that you can bake. I got a cast iron pan, but I don't like cooking, cooking cast iron. Anyways, mm. sous vide. If, if I'm going to go cook a steak like normal... Do you normal, sear your steak afterward? Y- yes. Okay. But listen, if I'm going to cook a steak like I used to, I would sit there, sear it as good as I could on all sides, including the edges, mm-hmm. and leave it in the pan, baste it, do all this shit with it. It takes me probably 20 minutes to cook it. Did I ever show you the... Uh, I'm not done, tea? sir. No, go ahead. <laughs> Would you, would you not show me? The petite filet mignon I made one time? No, you did not tell me. Okay. Or show me. I'll show you. Anyways, with sous vide, here is, it's really crazy. I'll direct this to the camera since you're not listening. I'm listening, dude. You said, here's, it's really crazy. I'll direct this to the camera since you're not listening. You didn't say anything for me to listen to. That's Go uncanny. Ahead. I can't even remember what I just said. I know. That's <laughs> uncanny. I can't even remember what I just said. <laughs> Don't test me. But do look at this. I mean that's pretty beautiful, but let me show you. Something. But I'm coming. I'm coming from not liking it rare. You know what I mean? Let me show you something though. Okay. You don't like rare? I don't. But that that I loved. So you regular you just fried this, right? Yeah. Uh, fried? You mean in uh, yeah. in a skillet? Not mm-hmm. like deep fried. No, just fried. but yeah, in butter. Oh, and I basted it in butter and some of your rosemary. I think. Basting it is beautiful, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna give you some tips. Okay. By I basted. I don't I mean, want to sound pretentious I mean, and like a douchebag. No, go ahead. So, you might like this charred bit on the outside. I love it. It's good. But what you're doing, essentially, is drying out the meat on the outside. Because you have to cook it so long for it to cook to the point that you like it on the inside. Mm -hmm. You're cooking from one direction, and it's constantly getting heat right here to finally reach the middle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, what the idea of sous vide is, is you cook it as like a a temperature that will basically have to cook it for a long time. You can cook it up to 24 hours and it'll still be edible. Damn. And by edible, I mean that I would eat it if it was probably cooked for a lot longer than that. Uh, I cook meat an hour per inch. So a regular steak is about an inch to an inch and a half. Mm-hmm. So I cook it for an hour and a half, basically uh, 140 degrees, 135 degrees for an hour and a half. And you put it in a, a bag. Well, anyways, well, I'll continue that. Okay. But I bet this outer edge was probably a little dry, but it may not have been since you were sitting there basting it. I wasn't just basting it, dude. I was tilting the pan, getting a spoon, and drowning a bitch. It so, was the juiciest steak. So it was, it was probably juicy. Yeah. Uh, giving that, that attention, and I like your potatoes on the side. Yeah, they were That's good. That's a very Gordon Ramsay. And they were good potatoes. Did you, did you par boil them and then? I wish I could frying? say yes, but no, I just I, I baked them in the oven at a high temperature. I coated them in olive oil and herbs. They look like they've been fried. Yeah, thank you. They they looks, were very good. good. It looks very good. They were very I'm good. I'm not going to lie. This meal looks delicious. They, it was an amazing meal. Like I loved it. And they were petite filet mignons. So I get what you're saying, but I think what I did was I let them cool to room temperature, which I think is super That's important. super important if you're yes. going to fry something. Yes. It keeps you from super. burning the outside. Exactly. Which I've done one time, and I wasted like 14 bucks on a... Not petite mm-hmm. filet mignon steak. I would still would have eaten it. Yeah, <laughs> I will eat it bleeding. <clears throat> I'll sh- I think I I've done that with lamb. I'll I tell you that story. Picture too. of it, and it was bleeding. But um, yes, I I um, let it get to room temperature. Also, if you salt, oh my god, like salt it and rub the salt in. You know, it like draws the moisture to the 
like out, you know. So, anyway, then I cooked it uh, high temperature, cooked the potatoes high temperature. It was, it was so good. I'm looking for this picture. Okay, well, let me describe to you exactly the sous vide method. Okay. And here's what's really important. I'm going to describe everything. Okay. Uh, sous vide, for those who don't know, and those who probably also don't care, <laughs> means in vacuum. It's a French term for cooking uh, m- products, produce, vegetables, meats, in a, a vacuum type container. Mm-hmm. Um, the process is used with an immersion circulator. I guess you could use it with a regular stove if you're very good and very good at keeping temperatures, but mm-hmm. dig- I digress. Immersion circulator. It heats up the water to the exact temperature that you're wanting. And it constantly moves the water so it's flowing around and it keeps the temperature. Okay. Mine has a timer on it so I can set the temperature and the time that I want it to, to run for. So that will keep the temperature and move it around constantly mm-hmm. for a designated amount of time. To do the sous vide part, you can get a food saver bag or air t- vacuum sealer bag. But I just get a Ziploc bag, put my meat in there, the aromatics salt and pepper the steak put it in there push the meat in the bag under the water and it will force the the air yeah, up yeah, out of nice. the bag yeah. and I go up to the zip mark zip it zip it virtually almost no air so there's still gonna be vacuum. a little bit pretty much vacuum. it's Have you almost ever thought about just sticking a vacuum in there and... I mean <laughs> yes but it probably would suck out the shit too oh yeah <laughs> I guess you're right uh, my <clears throat> but this is pretty simple That's, yeah yeah anyways Cook it for an hour and a half. Now, here's the deal. It will take you longer to the eating point, but it won't take you longer as far as actually cooking time. Cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, so while that hour and a half is going, used to, when I'd be cooking my steak, I would be standing at the stove. I'd be like basting it with yeah. a spoon and everything yeah. like that, trying to maintain it. And I would also almost never failed undercook it or overcook Me it. Me too. <laughs> One of the two. Never failed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with undercooked. <laughs> I'm, <not. laughs> I'm very okay with undercooked. My here, my story with lamb. I'll like, get to when it. It's raw in the middle. I can't do that. Oh, I like, can. I can't. And I will tell that story after this. <laughs> Remind me, please. Okay. But Sable will, will refuse to eat it. Mm-hmm. She also doesn't really eat any like fat at all. So, mm-hmm. um. Anyways, so I would stand there and baste it, and I either overcook it or undercook, and I'd always be disappointed. And also, the garlic flavor wouldn't always be all throughout and. Yeah, I'd usually be off a little bit with the salt. I know what you mean. Yeah, but anyways, so this works. Hold on. Anyways, we're gonna do it tomorrow instead of KFC. Okay. I swear to you, have to buy the steak. Fucking god, <laughs> um, we're gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, I'm really sad that you can't be there. <laughs> well, wait, we can do it after eight. <laughs> I work Monday. Okay, never mind. I will be in bed by eight probably. Damn, what a life, dude. I'm what sad, is- but at the same time, not. No, I mean that's. I want that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like commending you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Back to this. <clears throat> um, used to when I'd fry steak, I'd be basting it or whatever. And it would almost be too difficult to juggle cooking the other stuff. Like Sable also likes it when I, I will parboil some potatoes and mm-hmm. then I will f- cut them in half and fry them. Mm. Just like Gordon Ramsay. Fry them. when you say fry them, just in a skillet. Just in a skillet okay. with some olive oil. Yeah, and uh, with that some salt. Good. It, it's good. It, uh, again, I think I get a, a similar like result though because I you probably do. I toss it in olive oil and the herbs, and then at a high temperature, like bake it, and the olive oil like bakes yeah. into the. It's good. Crackles. Yeah, it. it's, it's good. Yeah. Crunchifies. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, just, it's yeah. the same thing, it's just a little different. Mm-hmm. Uh, my way is a little bit faster, mm-hmm. just because boiling. And you have more control, I think, on it too. Yeah, what I do is I. I line them all up on the pan, so the like the whole pan, the bottom is covered, mm-hmm. and but you can only see the top half of the, so like all you can see is skin of right. the little Yukon gold potatoes, right. and uh, you just fry it really hot, mm-hmm. so like it's charring, nice. And then I flip each one over <clears throat> and try the bottom. Anyway, Sable loves it. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan of it because I don't get the flavor. I'm a huge stickler on flavor. Mm. She's not so much. She just wants it to be salted and. Peppered. Oh, yeah. I'm I like, like I need too. to have aromatics. Yeah, I like flavor too. <clears throat> Anyways. So, used to, I wouldn't have like, I, f- I wouldn't feel like I had the time to be watching all this shit going on. Mm-hmm. Sous vide, dude, I'm like, Sable gets off at 7, takes her so many minutes to get home. I'm going to start this at 6 o'clock. 
go sit here and play my game until seven and then I'll go start on the other stuff and then I'll go sit down again. It's like that's awesome. The only thing I have to worry about is the last five minutes. Mm-hmm. I pull the stuff out, take it out of the bag, set it mm-hmm. on a plate. Put it in the refrigerator, let it cool for five to ten minutes, bring it back out, sear it. What's it like when it comes out of the bag? Like the gray or what? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a very unappetizing look. Yeah. However, but it is completely cooked. All the way through. All the way through. Nice. And uh depending on the temperature, it has a different consistency. Mm-hmm. I go with 140 degrees because I kinda like a more medium medium type cook. Mm-hmm. Um I could go with a medium rare, but Sable really likes medium, so yeah. go with a medium for an hour and a half. But here's here's the funny thing. I could do that steak for five hours mm-hmm. at the same temperature, and it still be just as cooked. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to... So it's weird. It co- it's weird. It, so imagine you're probably cooking it, I don't know. Do you get anything extra out of cooking it longer? It, More? Like, no, it's no? just... Time benefits. Mm. Um, so here's the deal, though. The reason I have gone full sous vide now, and anytime I cook meat, except for like hamburgers, is because cooking it in the vacuum, the aroma goes all the way through the Ooh, meat. Damn. Dude, seriously. I The first sous vide I ever did was rosemary and lemon and chicken. Ooh. That lemon and rosemary penetrated through the fucking meat and was all the way through. Now, salt doesn't do the same way. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not salty all the way through. But every single bite, I was like, this isn't bland chicken. This tastes like rosemary and lemon and chicken. It was fucking beautiful. Make that tomorrow. (laughs) Dude, it was insane. And it was like the most, it was the best experience with chicken I've ever had. I'm like, oh my God. And so the next night, I did some more CV. I've been experimenting. Mm -hmm. I did pork chops the other day, and the reason I really got interested in sous vide is because I, some of these people I watch, it's sorted mm-hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. They're doing a thing, they're like, most people overcook <coughs> chicken and pork, but the proper way to eat pork is like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I've had overcooked chicken and overcooked pork chops all my life. I'll overcook chicken until I die. Like, Dude. I can't. The first time I've ever <laughs> loved pork chops was when I cooked them sous vide. Really? I cooked them perfect they weren't over they weren't dry i mean having something cooked with the safety of it being cooked all the way through without it being dry and over like Mm -hmm. stressed meat anyways i always had that problem with my steaks that when i first cooked like the gordon ramsay way with the garlic and the thyme and basting it i was like man this is the best steak i ever had Mm -hmm. I tried it with the sous vide, and I'm like, holy shit. Used to, the time would only penetrate, it. you know, be on the crust or a little <clears> bit through. <throat> mm-hmm. Sous vide, it, it completely goes to that bad bitch. Damn. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you come over tomorrow, I'll buy the steaks. Honest to God. Okay, let's do it. Steaks are a little bit expensive, and I want to cook for table too, so let's we'll probably chicken. do chicken. Yeah, we'll probably do lemon good. and uh, rosemary chicken. Yeah. Actually, I have rosemary in there right now, so... Uh, Dude, it completely <laughs> that chicken absorbs them. It's it's insane. And so what I've also done. I is, love like a lemon pepper chicken. Oh my dude, God. you're gonna fucking love this. You're gonna fucking kiss my feet after you have it. Like I'm, all I'm saying is, is uh, cooking sous vide has completely changed my life. Uh, the other night I did um, pork chops. Mm-hmm. Now, and you can also get fancy. I did pork chops with a pear. And onion sauce. Interesting. In the bag or what? No, no, no. Oh. I put a pear and I also read that rosemary was a good combination with pears. So I did a sprig of um, rosemary with each pork chop. And then I did a slice of pear with each pork chop. Nice. Salted, peppered, and no garlic. Put them in the sous vide. And then for my, my, my next thing, I... Uh, Oh, I waited until it was done. Then I seared them. I took the... I don't do fruit sous vide. So when I mm-hmm. did this, I didn't keep the pear after yeah. it was done. Yeah. I threw away the slice. Mm-hmm. But then I seared them in the same pan, put some olive oil. Or no, I put some butter, and then I put the rest of the pear sliced in there. And I let it cook. To add my minced mm-hmm. onion and a little bit of garlic. And then I poured in... Uh, Oh, fuck, just a little bit of brown sugar just to sweeten mm-hmm. it up a little bit. Damn. And I made kind of like a sweet little sauce. Oh, God damn. That sounds good. And pour it over the top. And then I had, um, 
I think I had baked asparagus to go on the side mm-hmm. of it. Oh, no. I think I had um, roasted butternut squash. Oh, okay. It's a pretty fantastic meal. That does sound good, dude. It just made me hungry, though. Like, I want it now. Listen, dude, and I've been going tomorrow. full on gourmet with my meals. Yeah. Ever since we did that, uh, the meal kit, mm-hmm. I've been going fucking fancy. You want to hear what and I that's cook? That's what I love about cooking, dude, because you can go to McDonald's and get a chicken sandwich, but. For the same amount of money. Yeah, you can. a little more time. You can just, like. Listen to what I've made the previous, oh the, the past few days. Okay. okay. This can wait, Sable. <laughs> I made a mushroom uh, and, and creamy. It's not an Alfredo, but it was I like don't a, like mushrooms, but yeah. But this, okay. this isn't it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't like mushrooms? I'll go on. Okay. <laughs> uh, a tomato uh, linguine pasta. Mm-hmm. It's not called that. It's It was called Tuscan herbed chicken. They have an Italian seasoning at Walmart. It's got marjoram, oregano, sage, basil, and some other things. Pour it over my chicken. Salt, pepper, sear it, fry it. I didn't. I didn't sous vide it because I got really thin cuts. Mm-hmm. I would have sous vide it if it was thick, uh, thin cuts. And I just seared it and whatever. Put it to the side, and then I got my noodles boiling. Right mm-hmm. for my sauce, I put in some olive oil, pour in my onion, uh, my diced tomatoes, and then uh, some onions and garlic, and I let that cook down. Then like a quarter block of cream cheese. <clears throat> so probably yeah. two ounces of cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then let that cook. Get some of that pasta water. Pour it in there. Ooh, okay. Mix it around when it's melting down. Yeah. Like half and <coughs> half. Not half and half. Uh, uh, heavy whipping cream. Mm-hmm. And chicken stock. Dude. <laughs> Fucking fantastic, bro. That sounds amazing. Did the you? next night. Not done. Next <laughs> night. Get applewood smoked bacon. Mm-hmm. Dice it up. Fry it. Let it get crunchy. Pull it out. Leave the grease. Put in my garlic and my onion. I cook with garlic and onion every single meal. Mm-hmm. I love garlic and onion. <laughs> Put garlic and onion in there. It's cooking, okay? Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not. Okay. Then I pour in a half can of Prego traditional. I don't know how to make marinara yet. I don't mm. want to mess with it. I've made tomato I know sauce. how to make marinara and I'll show oh you. Oh, God. It's good marinara too, dude. Well, listen. It's good. And you, you would can tweak it to no no end. Dude, listen. You would have loved this. Mm-hmm. Sable was... <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> got the got the onions and, and garlic cooking in the, the bacon grease. Okay. I pour in my half thing of a prego. I put in uh, probably another quarter or so, two ounces of uh, cream cheese. Heavy whipping cream. Let that melt down. So it was like an a la panna sauce. I think that might be what it's called. Yeah. But anyway, you it's basically marinara cream. and Alfredo yeah, mixed you together. Make, yeah, alapana. And then I have a block of Parmesan that I was shaving in yes, there. Yes, dude. And then I poured my uh, pasta in there and that I covered it. That sounds incredible. So the pasta cooked in the, the sauce. and Dude. Wait, what did you? was there meat in this? Chicken, you said? Just bacon. Bacon? Oh, dude. And then so when that it was almost good. done, I poured the bacon crumbles in there so they were not mushy. And not crunchy, just like a okay, mixture. Where of was both. I for this meal? Because that one is like, dude. One listen, that, listen. I went to Roma's the other day and had an all a tortellini all the pan or something. Or I can make that tomorrow because I can make it so much better. That, that sounds literally, amazing. literally. When you go there, all you're getting is marinara and alfredo mixed together. I know, and it's good. So I can only imagine what it you, is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, what was the other thing I made? Oh, I made those bros burgers again. Yeah. Could you sous vide a burger? You could. But it'd be, just, it'd be weird. Because <laughs> you can get a pretty good cook on your burgers, you know? I like a crispy type burger. Yeah. So, and I've never had a... I like smashed steak burgers, you know what I mean? I think Sable just messaged me. She did not. We're good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I've been kind of going gourmet. I dig. That. I, I, I cook almost that. every night, dude. Yeah. Um. Lately, I've been cooking every other night. Mm-hmm. Um. But now that Sable works later than me, I'm just like, I guess I gotta cook. <laughs> I like it cooking. I love cooking. I don't always have the time to like do what sous vide you do. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, dude. You're gonna love it. Okay. I'm dude. gonna open your eyes. Okay. And you know what? Maybe we should experiment and have a completely sous vide cooked meal. Maybe. Because yeah. I've seen. Uh, sous vide uh, mashed potatoes mm-hmm. is it a rod that heats the water or what like it sticks down the... should I go get it right now for the camera yeah <laughs> give me a <laughs>
we don't have a sponsor for this week. Um, so you just get this face. Oh, Pain Glasses could sponsor us if they want to. That's where I got these. If you go to painglasses.com, you can save money on eyeglasses if they sponsor us. So that, that heats the water. You don't even turn on your burner. Hmm. hmm. Completely safe. So you could do that like in here. And 140. You could do it on the go. And 100. Yes. And That's... 140 degrees is a little too hot for your hand. Mm-hmm. But at 100 degrees, it's still, it's a little bit warm, but that's basically the time where I vacuum some of my bags. You could cook I, it longer? No, I, listen. You could cook it 100 degrees? I've got this going, you know, and it mm-hmm. reads like 80 degrees or 70 degrees is what the water reads when I first started. Mm-hmm. So as it's heating up, I'm prepping the meat. Put it in the bag, and by the time it's at 100 degrees, it's basically when I'm done prepping and the meat. And you push it in because it's not. And I put it in there, and it's warm. warm. 100 degrees is too warm for me. Yeah. I'm a baby. No, I, I feel that. But anyways, see, so you've got you got your minus and your plus. Mm-hmm. You just hit the mode and it switches to uh, the temperature. You increase it. I go to 140 degrees or 135, depending on how I'm feeling. I'm a little froggy, maybe not. I don't know, a little toady. And then I hit mode again, and then it goes to how long you want to cook it for. And I set it for an hour and 30 minutes, an hour 35 minutes, hour 45 minutes, hour 40 minutes. It doesn't matter how long you put it, as long as it's less than two hours and over an hour and a half. That's incredible because... You don't have to have a stove to cook. Mm -mm. And then you just hit boom. And then it's... How much does one of those set you back? Ah, this one was kind of cheap. I think Sable got it on sale. It was like 80 bucks. That's not bad at all, dude. And listen, true. You can cook any... Sponsored by sous vide. You can cook anything you want as long as you got some... Now, here's the the catch. Ziploc bags? Here's the catch. You can't just use any Ziploc bag. Because some Ziploc bags aren't meant for high temperatures. Yeah. So I get freezer bags, which might still be leaking pollutants into my meat, but I what? can't taste it. What the hell? <laughs> I would want to know that they aren't leaking pollutants. Well, I, I looked it up and it was like, what's the difference between freezer bags and regular storage bags? And I was like, well, the reason you're supposed to use freezer bags is because they're mint. They're durable. They're meant for that. That's why you pay extra when you get a freezer mm-hmm. bag. They're a little bit thicker. Mm-hmm. They're meant to be able to handle more stuff in extreme temperatures. It's not very extreme, 140 degrees. People shower in that. I mean, come on. Some people come out of the shower like a red lobster. Come yeah. On. Uh, but anyways, yeah. You just plug this in, and you just have to meet that line. It's got a little thing. You just put it on the side of the pot. Oh, that's awesome. Circulate this water around. And it you beeps could literally you. take that camping with you, dude. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, you literally could. Well, you'd have to have a power source, but yeah. Oh, yeah, it plugs in. It plugs in. <laughs> well, yeah, you could You could still. Dude, and I, I put my meat in there, <laughs> <laughs> and I let that puppy burn, and I... I'm sitting there hunting red deer while I'm letting this You still this play cook. that game, Hunt of the Wild or whatever? Oh, yeah. You won't get Call of Duty and play that with me? <laughs> yeah, he got it. And it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. If yeah. each of you pay, pitch in 20 bucks, I'll pitch in 20 bucks and I'll buy it. Who right. do you think I am? <laughs> My car is costing me like 400 bucks, if not more, to fix it. I pay 400 bucks a month just to live here. Dude. That's actually really cheap. That is three hundred and sixty. I don't even want to hear it. You need to get Call of Duty. It's very. I'm not gonna pay for it you, because there's not a gun that you like in it. They're bringing more guns. Also, it's like forty nine. Ooh. Wait, why is it already on discount? Because it's just. How is a brand new game on rollback? That means the because sales Walmart aren't meeting goes what the it's extra to mile to meet their the sales aren't needs. meeting it because people aren't liking it. I Let, love it. I played it last night. What? How? Yeah. Uh, He's my brother-in-law. Mm. You played I it? I have a brother-in-law. I played it at um, uh, Sable's parents' house with her brother. Mm-hmm. And, and, dude, I was doing some sick kills. Let me tell you something. Yes. It's I was using that carbine. Yeah, the, the, the Mark II carbine. Yeah, dude. Put a suppressor on that thing and just like run the field. We were, I was playing hardcore. Yeah. And I, I did die a lot. Yeah. But the, every, I would I'd be running around. I'm it's, like, wait, I just killed that guy? And it's crazy. And I'm cool. walking around. Yeah, and it's I was insane, going on some dude. some kills there, and uh, uh, I did die quite a few times. I don't play on hardcore mode, but I don't like hardcore. But that's that's actually pretty much all he plays on. That's that I've ever I seen mean, him play on. Good for him. I I I like. I, just right I don't like hardcore. Yeah, um, but I don't like the the speed of it. Like your character when he swatched weapons in real life, it'd be like, like what? That's way too fast. Who swaps weapons at that speed? Are you yeah. the Flash? Or when you die and you, mm-hmm. come on, be realistic. I thought about the animations it. are great. Like it's kind of addicting. It's well, like, that's because you're FOMO, dude. 
Mm, FOMO. I'm not fear of missing out. I don't have fear. Yeah, you no. are. I haven't bought a Call of Duty game in years. I can I'm look at like, you and I can tell it to you are. You're constantly on your phone, nine hours no, a day, dude. social media, scrolling, liking, swiping. That does not influence my my um That's yes it does. Dude, no. I don't have FOMO about Call of Duty. <laughs> no, I haven't no. bought a Call of Duty game since you know, Ghost. You understand what I'm missing, saying? I'm not saying you have that fear of Call of Duty. I'm saying No, you that, think I want to miss out on Call No, no, I don't no I'm not saying you've got that. I'm I love saying it. you've got that about life. So you're constantly, for the quick pace, you don't have patience for things. No, I do. That's why I don't like Fortnite is because it's quick. It's like, it's too, it's instant gratification. This game is like fun though. I can work toward, what? It, that game is so fast paced. Call of Duty? Yeah. Yes, but you can also, you start off with, un, you can't, you don't start off with every weapon. I'm right now trying to unlock all kinds of like sites that aspect. and shit for my games. I, I, like, like I that love, aspect. when I unlock everything, I probably won't play it as much. Because I'll be like, okay, so you want me to pay for a game it. that you're not gonna play in a few months? I'm playing it for like hours though. Actually, I take it back. And you're not the gonna have time I for me play it, The reason I will play it for months is because of gunfight. It's a new mode, two v two. It's fun. As I know shit, everything dude. about the game that you could Did possibly you know, try to tell. Why do you like it? It's fucking fun. God, it pisses me off sometimes, and I have to do this weekly. I can't even imagine living with him. Sorry, Sable. Hey, Ben, missed you. <laughs> really? Because I didn't feel it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's a good game. It's a solid game. It's the best Call of Duty in years. I like liquid games. What does that mean? You like solids. I like liquids. That's detestable. <laughs> I detest that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, real quick, I wanted to bring up Fire from the Gods, which is a band that Brendan was showing me on the way over here. That is literal fire from the gods. <laughs> it's like heavy metal, but like there's a rapper on there. And it'll, it'll do like a little rap. It's f- <laughs> it's amazing. It's good. Look, back to Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't... Call of Duty is the same way I feel about Red and Link. Every day you turn into a little bit more of a boomer, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Like you don't like. They say I'm like, <laughs> Daniel. Have you checked out the YouTube's lately? <laughs> you couldn't find anything you want. It's like you don't like all the cool things that are coming out. Like, dude, listen, I miss out on memes. I don't know how. I don't know how to <laughs> fucking comment on shit. I don't know how to react. <laughs> okay, boom. I'm over here asking Sable. Hey, we looked this up for me. I don't know how. Yeah, man. I think that is phone. Look up. <laughs> I love it when I'm at work and I'll just see oh. people walking around talking like text this or I like, didn't want to be this person but I did get some airpods <laughs> I got them because I couldn't find uh, regular earphones there's a there's a place own. that will take your airpods and put we'll a take, wire no no oh. <laughs> take the existing headphones you've got and they can matte finish them in black oh really nice and not right. just matte but like a shiny black and it looks lit I might have them do that but I can now. There's a little mic like right here in my ear, so I can just I can say like, look up the. It's it's crazy. Like I don't know. I love it. It's really cool. It is cool. Mm-hmm. I don't like. Oh, the- and I can, I can leave it in my bedroom. Walk to the kitchen on the phone with my mom. Like it's crazy. I was on the phone with you in Walmart on them. Yeah, just like, a little bit oh, of radiation. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Imagine like when we get five G. I have a similar thing that cost me probably, a tenth of what it cost you. Yeah, probably. They charge in their case. Does yours charge in the case? Yeah. I think it cost me 20 bucks. You have some? Can we see them? Dude, Mission Impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah, breathe with it. Oh, dude. <laughs> you see him? ENA Fire. 
That's pretty sick. 20 bucks? <clears throat> you like them? I used them once. Really? Probably a year ago. Are you serious? That's how old these are? Hmm. Let me see if the battery still works. Do yours automatically connect to your phone, though? My old phone. Hmm. There's battery in it. Dude, that's awesome. But I don't remember which one pairs with my phone <clears throat> first. I think it's the right one. Apple has done something crazy. Like, I took these out of the box, and it said, we found an iPhone nearby. Would you like to pair it? And I was like, yeah. And it wasn't your phone? <laughs> no, it was mine. Uh, but, like, it said Daniel's iPhone. I bought these with the intention. It's the left one, I think. It's still going. Mm -hmm. uh, when I bought these, I thought, I want this so I can ride my motorcycle and listen to music mm -hmm. or talk to somebody on the phone I tested it out basically anything over 25 miles an hour it was too much wind for oh, able really? to hear me <laughs> yeah and they're, they're too big for what I wanted mm -hmm. I wanted something even smaller so that no one could really perceive it or they would think I'd have a hearing that'd be hard to do but yeah well maybe I should just get something that looks like a hearing aid yeah and then people would be like oh no I can't I can't mention it because <laughs> that'd be rude it'd be like disrespectful yeah. One thing I want to show you is really cool. When I when I hold them next to the phone. Hold on, let me try to turn this off. It's still just flashing. Okay. Look, oh, listen to this. I'm trying to show you this. <laughs> when I hold them next to the phone, dude, and I flip the case open, watch what it does. Hold on. Just wait for it. Look, it tells me how much power they have in each of them. <laughs> King that cunts. I said that up a while ago. That's my name on my phone. But look, and then, like... That looks so crisp. I know, right? And they're rotating. You know what mine does? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry. One more thing. Take them out and put them in your ear, if you don't mind, like, putting them in your ear. You don't want those in my ears. Just don't push them all in. No, I'm not going okay. to do that. When you put them in your ear, it makes a little, uh, like, boom sound like they're in. It's, like, awesome. And it knows? Yes. And, oh... Sorry, the best part. If I'm listening to a song, take it out, it pauses the song. You gotta be shit. No, I'm not. <laughs> I love them. I never wanted to be that person who's like, oh, look at my AirPods. But they're they're an invention that is taking me to like... Do you know what I want to do? To like, I want to go back to my original phone. Will you pull out your I phone? S I, saw, I saw it. The the flip foldable razor or whatever? No. Okay, never mind. Look up LG 320G. 320 G. Okay, hold on. This is the phone Ben wants. I used to have that phone. Uh probably twenty ten. Yeah. I've been thinking about <laughs> in fact, dude. Oh, you, I had the same phone. You influenced my life so much. Really? Yeah. When we last shot a bad podcast. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned how long you had been on your phone for mm -hmm. social media, like nine hours or something like that. And I was yeah. like, man, I probably spent an hour of my life on <laughs> Facebook today. That's ridiculous. I'm on my phone too much. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to go back on my original phone. And I thought, I love T9. Yeah. I'm a boomer, okay? Yeah, I know. I love T9. <laughs> it was the greatest way to text. And I love those old phones. I'm going to get it. Do it. I don't remember where that phone is. Just buy a new. They're fifteen dollars. They were. Yeah. How do you know that? Like at Walmart, they're fifteen bucks. No. They probably don't have them at Walmart anymore. But what? You really did have one. They I were did fifteen that bucks. One. I had that one. No, the last. I know. It had a good texting system. It did. <laughs> yes, it did. For that kind of phone, it had a good one. Like, and good... I could go back to it. The yeah. only thing I, I hate giving up is the camera. Yeah. And That's the only thing. Well, I like like notes. I like. Just all kind of things I couldn't give up. But. Well, there's a lot of things I could give up. And just like... what One of the things that you can... Music. Too. I also got Music. into an idea. How to design your own cell phone. Do it. How do you go about doing that? I don't know. Anybody who knows, <laughs> shout out in the comments. Well, I think you'd have to choose like an operating system. Like, do you want Android? Android. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Brennan's phone take these incredible pictures. My like, phone takes incredible pictures. I know. Pictures. It, 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 His do. phone's better. My phone takes good pictures, but like, 
not in that low light. Like it, it was. In, it was. Have insane. you seen the new Google Pixel? Yeah. Taking night shots. Mm-hmm. I, oh, you can capture the stars. I know, and they say the the eleven can do that. That's why. That's what I don't like about Apple. Like you buy the latest ten thousand, like a thousand dollar phone, and then the next year it's like obsolete. You need the next one because it can get low light. They can get all this, but I'm still a bitch and will still buy into it. <laughs> well, here's the deal. I I need help. I don't know how to go about getting these old phones because mm. I could buy one for like thirty bucks today. <clears throat> that's not bad. Used. You. They don't have them at Walmart still. No. Cricket, go to Cricket. You think my sisters have them? have them? My dad, my dad has one actually. Just like, like they that. Have, they have iPhones, but then they have service on Cricket phones. I don't know they have that same one, but that's it's the a one whole I want. Store. I know it's a whole store. I'm sure they probably would. You want to go tomorrow? They're probably closed tomorrow. Sunday, probably yeah. Although they were open today, I don't know. Yeah, but Saturday is not Sunday. Yeah, you're right. This is the Bible Belt. Yeah, everything's closed on Sunday except for Target and Walmart. And Popeyes and, and Burger place King and McDonald's work. and your place of work and Jamie's just closed on Sundays. Good for them. After I think like two PM. Almost everything should be closed on a day of the week. It doesn't have to be Sunday. It's not like a religious thing. I just think not every <laughs> I, I, I would like to go back in time to where the weekends mattered. <laughs> mattered yeah. and then everything was like closed on the weekends. Although I don't know I wouldn't want everything to be closed. I don't know. There's been times where I've been like, fuck, I wish it wasn't the weekend, you know? So I can't imagine if there were more places closed. I thought about, what if I could go take that body phone and mm-hmm. revamp it to have the camera that I wanted <laughs> and the opposite rating system I wanted? Because what I would miss is the calculator. Mm-hmm. It came with a calculator. Uh, is it my, I use my calculator, my flashlight, my camera, and internet searches. So if I could still have a good internet search bar, but there ain't no you way I would sit on Facebook the on that. The Samsung Galaxy S3. Was I had a, one. It was a good phone. <laughs> I had an S3. Yeah, it was good. This is this, this is and the history I feel like of my on phones. that one you could revamp the camera maybe somehow. But it didn't have buttons. It was a screen. You're right, yeah, it was a full screen. And I have it. Yeah. I own that. I have one too. It's locked by Verizon. Really? Because the guy was paying to pay for that phone for me. Stop paying. <laughs> so that phone is locked. Mm. Um, that's actually why I got... Let me go through the history of my phones. <clears throat> we don't have that much time. It's not that long. No. It won't take that long. Okay. Okay, the first phone I ever received <clears throat> that functioned, but not for calls, was a Nokia mm-hmm. <laughs> brick. Mm-hmm. Played Snake on it all the time. Then my dad gave me several versions of phones, and some of them were really cool. Move on. My first phone that did work was a razor. That's why I posted that yeah, razor because yeah. that was a pretty sick. Yeah. Okay. It was a razor, and um, then I moved on to that fifteen dollar phone. Mm-hmm. Then a Samsung S three, I believe, or was it an iPhone four? Either way, I went through those back to back. So it was either the iPhone, then the Samsung, or the Samsung, then the iPhone. Mm. Then I went to AT and T for the LG. Don't remember the last name of it. But that's when I decided LG was the brand for me. Really? Because it had the IR, so you could control your TVs. But then there was another deal. I went for the BlackBerry Priv. Mm-hmm. Then that battery messed up on me. went for the BlackBerry Key 1. That worked really well, but then it started getting a little too sluggish because it didn't have like the latest processor. So I went, and I called AT&T, and I said, how do I cancel with you? Because I'm, oh, no, before that, I got me another LG. So I went from the Key 1 to another LG phone. And it was like the LG... It was an LG phone. Mm. It was really nice. Don't remember the name. <sighs> Anyways. Went to that. And I was like, this is pretty badass. But I'm kind of... <gasps> no. Can we rewind a little bit? No. <laughs> no, listen. Yes. I was at the bla- back to the BlackBerry Priv. Okay. It was really cool. It was, a, it was it was looked just like this, but then the whole thing slid up to reveal mm-hmm. a keyboard. Really loved it, Black, uh, but the battery messed up. I got so pissed off, and I told at and I'm going to cancel with you. So then they offered me a half-off brand-new LG. It was the latest LG phone, so I went with that. But then I was like, you know what? I miss my keyboard, the physical buttons. Mm-hmm. So I said, Sable, your phone's messed up, and it's shitty take my phone i'm gonna buy a new phone so then i gave her my lg and i bought the blackberry key one that was your glad we got through it that was my phone yeah that was the most best thing i was gonna upgrade from that to the 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 new black the key two yeah 
because I love that keyboard. <laughs> I got used to. I got oh fuck, it was so good. But the problem was, is BlackBerry wasn't selling it through AT and T, and I'm like, I don't know how to do this shit. I'm not a mathematician, <laughs> even though I excelled in maths all throughout schools. Yeah, and so I told AT and T, look. I gotta cancel. I'm gonna go on my wife's plan at T-Mobile. They're like, "How about this though?" <laughs> a Samsung, they keep pulling you in. Bro. The Samsung Galaxy, the latest one, right before the 10 came out. And we're gonna give it to you. Guess what? Not half off, but like, a, like two thirds off. You know what? I'm gonna call Verizon and tell them I'm canceling for somebody. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. The, they've got a, a whole program called customer retention or something like that. Damn, just to keep you. And uh, that's how I have this phone. And I, I do like this phone. I hate having a brand name that's so wide. I, there's something you're about a boomer, me. dude. There's something about me where I don't like having the popular thing. I know. you're. It's, I, I don't know what it is. Like, you, you don't... Because some popular things are popular because you they're should good. just like them. Yeah, yeah, just because they're actually good. And yeah. I will admit, this phone is actually good. Mm-hmm. But I also miss having a keyboard. <laughs> I kind of don't, dude. I would mess up all the time. Like I love it so much. I mess up more on a right on the phone keyboard. My phone though, iPhone has this crazy thing, dude. It speaks for me. Like I could type <laughs> and it'll autocorrect into neighbors. Like it, it knows what I. It knows. It, See, I, I have autocorrect off. No, I have that shit on, and it saves my life. And it also, I can say, "Hey, I'm," and it'll pop up the next word, "going to," and like sleep will pop up next. It's it's crazy. Like the predictive text. So well, texting is so easy now. I've been I through, still hate doing it, though. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been through so many phones, and I really miss that one particular phone. Mm-hmm. The LG 320G. LG, I yeah. miss that phone. That was a cool phone. I, it was a very good phone, yeah, and for, I miss it. For, for a $15 phone, it was good. Um, for a phone, <laughs> it was good, okay? I guess so. I've had a Samsung S3. I've had an iPhone I like 4. I liked my S3 until it started slowing down. I've had me. an LG, don't know the name of it, and then I had an LG, don't know the name of it, and <laughs> then I had a BlackBerry Priv and a BlackBerry Q1, and a Samsung, and let me tell you, out of all those phones, I would still prefer the 320G. The only thing keeping me from fully going back to it. Mm-hmm. Is being able to search the web. Yeah. I constantly look up shit. What about like pictures and stuff too? Oh, that was the second thing. Yeah. Actually, let me reverse that. I think primary, because I used to text Cha Cha all the time. Mm-hmm. Is Cha Cha even a thing anymore? I don't know what that let is. Let me text it. What does that mean? It's a it's a that's a service where you would text them. I'm gonna text them. Cha Cha. I guess I just type it now. Text them and what? And ask them a question. Mm. Can't add recipient. Their phone number isn't valid. Valid. Tell me a joke. Not you. Oh. Tacha, cha cha. Okay. Let me see if they reply. Error and valid number. Anyways, I used to text cha cha. Mm-hmm. And they were a service where you could ask a question or have them <coughs> give you a joke or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. Uh, it was like KGB. Remember that? No. The KGB like in Russia? No. Like the phone service you get also text for answers. Mm. Anyways, I could live without internet on my phone. It's the camera. Not even selfies. Just the other one? Just the other one. Because every once in a while I'm like, those cats are so cute. <laughs> I'm like, look at how my bins look at work. Yeah. No, I feel you. I love I love that we're in such an advanced place we can take pictures of literally everything anywhere. Like But it so, makes you not No, it kinda does. Like, yeah, I could get off my phone. I, I could stand to like get off my phone a little bit. But for nine hours a day, yeah. <laughs> no the, <laughs> Yeah, I agree. That was a lot. Um that is a lot. It's an addiction. Um but I like having a camera, and I like having internet, and I like having an iPhone. I've got one more thing to mention before I'm done. Okay. I don't know how much you want to talk about. My hair's doing something funny. No, I'm I'm chilling. <clears throat> so remember how I mentioned about when I started thinking about the simulation thing, it started popping up more and more. Mm-hmm. And everything is like this. You know, like when you start noticing a car, like when I bought a Rogue. Mm-hmm. I started seeing rogues, rogues everywhere. everywhere. In Grand Theft Auto, when you get in a certain car, they're everywhere. 
Kanye has a lyric on a leaked song that never came out because it was going to be on Yandi, which turned into Jesus is King. And he says, just in the middle of it, he says, Grand Theft Auto, we in a game, we in a game. Like, that's his. That's one of his bars. Like, he's, like, talking about He feels it, too, simulation. don't he? Yeah, he Well, does. I mean, look, you just said that's how it is built in the game. Like, when you see one, yeah. when you're driving a car, that's what appears more often. Mm-hmm. What if? I mean, it's just like real life, ain't it? Anyways, I told you that when I notice something, it appears more prevalent. Mm-hmm. I just started reading this book. Maybe I should get it real quick. Nah, I don't no, need no, it. no, no. It's no called time. the Plague Tales. Plague Tales. Okay. The next day after starting reading this book, I read an article about the plague coming, coming back. back in China. <laughs> it's like, what? What are the yeah. odds of that timing? I, I've I've experienced that a lot. Like coincidences, coincidences. I don't think are really a coincidence. Sometimes. Anyways, uh, apparently the plague is considered by the CDC as a emerging disease. That's awesome. Coming back, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's three types, the bubonic, pneumonic, and something else. Hmm. Bubonic attacks the lymph nodes, and pneumonic attacks the lungs, and something else. It's actually horrifying. I think the other thing was the kidneys. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyways, the bubonic leads to pneumonic. Next thing... America experiences several cases a year. And I was thinking it was a lot more than several. But people get the plague in the U.S. That's not good. Never go to Peru or Madagascar. And there was a third country you don't go to. As CNN reports it. But I also don't trust them. I hate CNN. Probably more. Yeah, I hate CNN too. You know what? They reported... In the middle of all this media that you could report on Kanye West, they reported that somebody st- uh, sold one of his tickets for 250 bucks. It was that a was free them? ticket. Yeah. Here, CNN look. did that. I Fuck CNN. Do not That's the official stance of our program. I do not support any news agency because yeah. they all suck. Because they all push a narrative. Agreed. Uh, so when I say I hate CNN... You're wearing a Fox News shirt. It was free. Oh, okay. Good. I support that. I wear free shirts all the time. If it's free, I'm wearing yes, it, okay? I agree. I don't care what kind of hate I get. Yeah. <laughs> I need clothes on my back, and I don't like spending money. <laughs> I agree. Anyways, um, <clears throat> it's, it's like kinda, it's kinda... how many people know about the impeachment process going on right now? Mm-hmm. I don't hear anybody talking about it, but I listen to the radio all the time, and it's like they're out there right now trying to impeach the president. That's why I think you need to start listening to like selected programs, because the radio won't report things that you want to hear no 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 kind of. the, my, the radio is how I know about oh, it oh the impeachment because I, I listen to conservative radio oh okay and of course they're for the president yeah now again I don't care how you th- believe I guess that's true to a sense <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, is the mainstream media they're not for you or I mm-hmm. I'm not I for Fox News Fox yeah. News is just against you and CNN. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to know anything, man. And so, like, example, do you know why they're trying to impeach him right now? No. Are you curious to hear the story right now? Sure. Okay, so back in July, mm. this past July, President Trump made a, a comment or a phone call to you, the Ukraine president who was freshly elected, and it was like, congratulations, blah, blah, blah talking about... Um, investigating something that Joe Biden had done, basically. <clears throat> and uh, everybody wants to impeach him for so-called quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. And this one leader of, I think it was House of Representatives, Adam Schiff. I think he's the House of Representatives. I don't know. I don't okay. remember. Anyways, all he, all he basically came out with a statement that was completely fucking false, saying that it was exactly what the president had said. And then the president releases the transcript of the phone call. Mm. And it completely... Went back, and the guy says, well, I was just paraphrasing. So anyways, that turned into a long ordeal, and they kept the their hearings very secretive, and now it's out in the public, and they're having hearings to discuss whether they're going to impeach him. Mm-hmm. Not going to happen, but even if they do impeach him, impeachment doesn't even mean he's thrown out of office. It yeah. just means they go through a proceeding of a court. Yeah. Anyways. I don't even want to get into this actual story because yeah, I got a lot to talk about that. But well, I mean, no one talks about this. Mm-hmm. How sad is it that the leader of our country is is going through this impeachment <clears throat> process, whether you're for him or against him, and no one's talking about it? 
Like, if you are against him, why are you not talking about it? Having your, like, fellow Americans calling your congressman or whatever, senator or whatever and going, hey, we want to impeach him. Or if you're for him, why are you not talking to your fellow Americans saying, hey, call your congressman and representative and say you're not it for impeaching him? It's all a game, man. It's all a game. <laughs> oh, again, what I'm saying is apparently Adam Schiff, the guy who made up this thing was given this information by a whistleblower he sat on the information for about two months before coming out with it wait Mm -hmm. wait july uh august september two months okay this whistleblower met with adam schiff and then adam schiff testified at congress that he didn't know who it was this is after every news agency already reported and like knew the information people on wikipedia know who the guy is it, the information is out there, and the guy's like, yeah, I don't know who it is. <laughs> and what I'm trying to say is there's been a lot of – I watched that liberal on yeah. YouTube, and he's like, I know who the guy is. And uh, this other guy, he, he had done a face uh, – like a like a, like a a little test on Facebook where one comment was praising the whistleblower. One comment or post was uh, condemning the whistleblower. One was neutral, and all of them got deleted. By mm. Facebook. Really? And he was like, they're censoring this guy's <clears> name. <throat> Why? Hmm. Why are they censoring this guy's name? And it's uh, freedom of information. They're allowed to know. Yeah. And it's fucking crazy. And no one knows it. We're just sheeple, dude. Everyone. Yeah, I know. All we are is just looking at our phones and they go on and get their meal ticket, work. Kanye has his line on his new album. He just said, he's, he comes in on this amazing beat and he just says, <clears throat> if you woke them wake up and it's just like and then that leads into like seriously some though yeah <clears throat> people, people are people are woke and they're like well, you know plastics killing the ocean and killing the animals so let's ban plastic straws yeah. and they come up with these new straws that aren't even recyclable by the machines that are tr- supposed to recycle them did mm. you hear about that with McDonald's no they come up with these straws to, to go against the Plastic. plastic. Mm-hmm. They can't even recycle them because they don't have the machinery to recycle them. It's like mm-hmm. you just created more pollutants and you can't even recycle them. Mm-hmm. And people are so concerned about straws, and it's like a, such a small, minuscule amount of the plastic that's in the ocean. Yeah. But they're worried about the plastic straws. And it's like I think people today. Uh, it goes back to we have a drive to survive, and we want to do something on our lives. No longer do we have like this mission. Because life is easy. Yeah. You go to work and you got everything provided for yeah, you. That, so people come up with these initiatives and he's like, oh, I've got to stand for something. And they're choosing this bullshit shit. I think that's why I'm going to start working out again. Because Joe Rogan was talking about, well, him and a lot of other, just a lot of people talk about, we're supposed to, uh, we're supposed to put strain on our body. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're supposed to like sweat and we're supposed to, it makes the reward, like <laughs> if you have a long day of work or, and you're like physically sweating, you sit down and eat like a nice hot meal like it's crazy you know what I mean um, uh, or even drinking like if you have a long week or something and then Dude, you tell me about it I come home you I don't, drink you don't want to I mean like, you don't want to drink without a reason to you know what I mean no you do <laughs> maybe at your stage <laughs> but I mean drinking is much better if you're if you're at the end of a long week or a long day maybe you know what I mean yeah and um so yeah I get what I, I get what you're saying I I um we talked about it before as far as like people joke about us being too much into our phones and everything like that. I just mm-hmm. talked about being too much in my phone. Mm-hmm. I think the moral of it is the world is different than what it began as. Of course, that's a, that's yeah. a, it's called a truism. Yeah. It doesn't need to be said because it's understood. Mm-hmm. But it's just different. So people have to learn to evolve and cope with that. And I think that's why so many people joke about being depressed. And they joke about it. They post memes about it, yeah. but they're probably really serious. They're yeah. really depressed. Yeah. I mean, never did I think that I would come out and say, you know, I'm really unhappy with my life. Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't say that now. Mm-hmm. But like you, you joke about it. Half my friends on Facebook joke about it. And it's like, I don't remember this. Yeah. What? Something has happened. It, I, I think I people... Think, I think are, it's... Well, go ahead. I think people are living without a cause. Mm-hmm. And a I think people, that's... Yeah. Um, getting their minds on the bad things of life and they're just feeling really down because they go, oh, I just wake up and go to work and it's like, our ancestors used to get up That's and run I'm away saying. from tigers. That's they what didn't I'm have saying. time have to be to, worried about fucking wasting their no lives. No matter what your circumstances are, you kind of get what, you got to get out what you put in, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to, um, cho- you kind of almost have to choose not to like have that mindset because I, I know what you're talking about. You can be like, oh, you know, I got to wake up, go to work, but then you get off work, you know, mm-hmm. and that's, Actually, that's where you live job. your life. You know what I mean? Uh, I believe wholeheartedly. But 
I don't think that's. I think you should like your job too. That's, but that goes it goes hand in hand. But continue. Uh, I believe wholeheartedly. Basically, what you just said that mm -hmm. it's a mindset. You choose to be happy, and I believe uh, there's a lot of people that I, I believe it's a chemical reaction thing that they mm -hmm. can't be happy. Mm -hmm. But I think for most people, it is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You have to choose. It's to be also happy. easier to to be not happy. Kinda. It's easier, yeah. yeah. And people choose the path yeah. of least resistance. Exactly. Yeah. Nature. Mm -hmm. Nature. Um, <laughs> but I don't know how to say it. it's like all the times that I was depressed and unhappy, spent many a night like that. I. I realized it. it was like a moment of self awareness. I'm like, I know I can choose to be happy, but making that choice is so difficult. Yeah, because it's easy to like wallow in your sadness, and mm -hmm. and also it's, yeah, it's just like you have to, I don't know, you have to kind of give something up to get like like a pride thing. I don't know to be happy. I don't know. Even in not my lowest low, but mm -hmm. most of my lows, I still had very like every day was good. I felt unhappy as far as I'm not doing what I want with my life, mm -hmm. but I still, at the end of the day, said I had a good day. Yeah, and I think just telling yourself you have a good day and being thankful for what you do have, like I still feel like I'm wasting part of my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done, and you know what's crazy? I had this going on longer than anybody wanted. What's crazy? But I, I gotta say this. What's crazy is the more and more that I'm alive and awake. Mm -hmm. And seeing things and I, I mean just walking around at work talking to people that I've known forever and I'm like I feel like I'm a lot more successful in my life than them mm -hmm. and that sounds shitty to say well no success is a mindset too though it's a mindset yeah but what I mean is my dad my dad it started with my dad he was like been at your age like I didn't I didn't even have a home yet. Yeah. I didn't have any vehicles. I was like, I was living with my parents. Or I don't remember exactly where he was in a station. I mean, he, he was still in the army. But it's like, at my stage in life, I have a home. It's not the best. But I but I own it. I'm paying mm -hmm. for it. I've got, I mean, three cats, two dogs. Still too many animals, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I've got kind of like a little family. I've got yeah. a wife. I've got two vehicles. I've got guns. I got everything I want. I got. I got. I got You're possessions. Cooking every night. I'm cooking my yeah, own meals. Exactly. You can look at. I got a good. I've got a great paying job. Mm -hmm. Honestly, for this area, is great. Mm -hmm. And and then some. Some of the people that I know, it's like. Some of them are having to restart from scratch. Some of them are not where I consider they should be. Mm -hmm. And it's not my place to say where they should be. Yeah, growth is a personal thing. But yeah, yeah. Their, their personal success may be exactly where they're wanting mm -hmm. to be. and that, uh, that. But from my point of view, to measure my own success, I look at somebody else. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. But I look at other people to see if I'm successful. And maybe that's why I'm starting to be happier because I feel like I am successful. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm not a rich man. Well, you don't have to be. You're, you're, if you're happy, you're successful. My dad's always said that, I think. And, uh, that's, a, that's a smart thing. Yeah. If you're happy, you are successful. Yeah. And it goes, I think it goes the other way, too. If you're successful, you're happy. I, think. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, actually, you're right, because there's a lot of people who are, you know, financially successful. But if you're happy, you're successful. But, I mean, I don't know. There's, I mean, there's uh, several people from my from my graduating class who are doing things that I couldn't dream of doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, my friend BJ <laughs> went and joined the Navy and became like a doctor. He's, he owns his like own gun club. What the hell? That's awesome. But you shouldn't put a limit on what you could dream of. You said you couldn't dream of doing it. You should uh, be able to dream of anything. I put a limit because I, I don't want to leave this area. He doesn't yeah. live here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he left our school... I went to go do something else in like tenth or eleventh grade, and I miss I missed them, still miss them. But I knew from an early age I wasn't gonna leave. Mm -hmm. Damn it, bleep that out. <laughs> I knew that I wasn't gonna leave here. Okay, mm -hmm. so I kind of already put some barriers on what I was gonna be able to do, and and I just feel like I'm doing as good as somebody that my age yeah. might be able to do. I mean, there's other places I could work. But there's a very few where I can make more money. Mm -hmm. But money's not everything. <laughs> I mean, get this. In just having a, a year on my car, I've already paid $4,000 on it. 
Hell yeah, dude. I've been paying extra. I'm like three, mm-hmm. four months ahead on my payments. So if I didn't want to, if I lost my job, I wouldn't have to worry for like okay, four months. Yeah. I've got, and I, my, my 401k, I matched at 6%. I'm mm-hmm. putting in like 10%. <laughs> if I need to borrow against it, there's going to be penalties, mm-hmm. but all that money goes back into my 401k. So I'm not going to be losing money. I still owe it, but yeah. I wouldn't be losing it. So if I lose my job and then all of a sudden I run out of my my payments I made ahead, I'm like, oh, I could borrow against this. My house, I'm not ahead in my payments. I haven't started on that yet. Mm-hmm. But it's 360 a month. I can come up with that just with a part-time job, working yeah. 20 hours a week. Yeah. I mean, when I worked at Brick Oven, I pulled it. I pulled in two weeks. I pulled maybe four hundred dollars. So in a month, I could pay my house and my car. I wouldn't have any money for food. Say, we could cover that. I'm just saying. You're like breaking down like what? Like I'm, the I'm, worst. I'm at a moment in my life where I'm like, you know what? I am not where I th- wanted to be, where I dreamed of being. But I'm at a place where I finally accept this is good. I'm happy. This yeah, that's good. That's important. I mean, it is important. Everyone needs. There's to only one thing I wish. Could. What? I wish I was still studying Arabic. Do it. That's something you control. I, I know. I can. I know. I can control that. But I also think there's there's a few things that I might grasp right now. A class because I don't want to accidentally join a terrorist school again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. Did I ever tell you about that story? Another time. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally joined a terrorist school. <laughs> I called the State Department of Arkansas and I was like, hey, look, I didn't oh fund God. them, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> you really did call them? Uh, I emailed them. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I was pretty worried there for a minute. And every so often when I get a friend request from yeah. like a Abdul Jamar Kareem <laughs> crazy face, I'm like, whoa. Wow. <laughs> Is this guy from Kenya? <laughs> The, the the founder of the school I tried to join, I later found out after trying to join that he was, like, banned from, like, five different countries Damn. for terrorism. And oh I'm like, God. wow, I've really fucked up. <laughs> but anyways, uh, no, I really want a, a class. And it's, like, 3000 bucks for the cheapest class I could find. So mm. um, I could study the way I was doing before. You, you get uh, Duolingo on your phone. I had uh, several things. I had... So I'm going to start with a B. I did Rosetta Stone. I've heard good reports from Duolingo, but you have to make yourself study it. I'm, no, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. The problem is <clears throat> forcing the time. Because for a while there, for about a year, I was studying hard. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I was getting pretty good. And then it was at the time we got married and took our... No, no, no. Our, our honeymoon. I, I said, okay, I need to finish this book before going on honeymoon because I know that when we get back, it's going to be forever before I study again. Yeah. Dude, it's been probably six months. <laughs> that was in June or, yeah, the June, and it's now November, so it's been five months. But that's the great six thing about living in the time we live in. You have your phone, and you have a lunch at work, and you have breaks. Just study then. You're fucking right. I know. And I know you're right. I know. <laughs> I, know I, <laughs> I know you're right. And uh, look. Arabic's been the one thing that I've loved mm-hmm. constantly, but it's been trying to get past everyone looking down on it. I really hate it when Dude, people are like say them. something to me, and Don't. I'm like, "You're not even gonna know if I'm just making up shit," yeah. you know. And it's like people look at you. It's really hard to have something that you love so much that people mock. Because mm-hmm. if you say to somebody, "I'm studying Arabic," they're like, "Okay." Yeah, right. I agree. It's but like when you hear somebody saying, I'm studying Korean, and they're like, I'm learning from Korean pop. <laughs> yeah, but fuck them. Don't care what people think. I mean, fuck them. It's exactly right. You shouldn't However, do anything for anyone but yourself. However. And just be generally kind to everyone, but don't <laughs> don't pander to like... Don't, you're, you're right. It's your life. I'm know? not disagreeing with you. Okay. You're exactly right. I needed the words of encouragement. Yeah, man. We all do. I mean, I you know I used to do shit too. Like I used to read books. I don't do that anymore. I do. I do listen to audiobooks religiously though, and with my AirPods, it's so much easier. But we're running a little long, so we should. Okay. We should okay. tie it up. Last thing. Okay. <laughs> you said that last time, by the way. <laughs> but let's. let's hear Why don't I get started talking, man? There's just <laughs> things that keep on. I told you I started reading again. Yeah. That's another reason I haven't started the Arabic just yet. 
Yeah, it's like I, one thing at a time. Like, I know. Yeah, hobbies. I thought there are so many books I own that I actually haven't read. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna read every single book I haven't read. Damn. So far, I've gone through two of them. It's not a lot. Yeah, I have a lot I haven't read as well. But there's two of them down. Yeah. I'm on my third one right now, The Plague Tales. I have a hard time doing that because it's like, am I going to enjoy this book enough to put exactly. two weeks exactly. of my life towards exactly. it? You know? <laughs> two weeks? Well, Are you serious? Well, for me, because I read at a really slow pace. But there was there was a book I've, I've had ever since I, I was not probably... Not a slow pace. I take that back, but I have a hard time finding the, the time to read, so I read in small increments. You have to, you have to choose what's you have important. To, you kind of have to take a big chunk and read it in that chunk. You can't try to fit in little 15 minute because you can't get into the book like, well there's this book called deep gold that mm-hmm. i've had probably since i was in fifth grade 10 years old mm-hmm. 11 years old. i don't know <laughs> you go do the math no you the excelled in math no you did and anyways i've had it for so long and i've never i read like two pages of it and never, i put it down and never read it again because i'm like i won't like this mm-hmm. four days read it I found myself in the middle of it going, no, don't, no, he couldn't have died. I said this out loud. Yeah. At the end of the book, dude, I felt tears in my eyes. <laughs> Damn. Long story. Was it a James Bond novel or what? No, it was, it was this detective who's on this oh, yeah, like, you told big me. thing. Yeah. And anyways, his love interest turns out to betray him and you mm. think he died. If he didn't, mm. he can be back. And it's like, dude, I was, I was, and Let me give you an, a status update on reading every night. Okay. That was me moving in the chair, not a fart. Okay. A status update. I've been sleeping better. Now, the past few days, I've not been reading because I started watching some shows with Sable, mm-hmm. and I've been slacking. Mm-hmm. past few days, I've not been reading except for last night. But anyways, while I was reading, my sleep was getting better. I was having... Yeah. I was going to bed. Do you know why that is? Because you don't want to be on your phone two hours before you sleep yeah yeah that blue light and just everything. because of you i yeah. started doing <laughs> yes, this dude. and i can't even follow my own advice like i'm out here inspiring you you but should I can't be a it. motivational speaker because because of you <laughs> i started reading I'm because glad. of you yeah. i started having better sleep i'm glad and it's true isn't it like you sleep better you yeah. probably wake up on your own i'm having i've had i started having better like trains of thought yeah dude i started having You're like more, clear, more logical conscious. speaking mm-hmm. today i went to a little baby shower mm-hmm. and there was some like a scrabble like a cross like not a crossword but it was like jumbled you dominated up it didn't you dude <laughs> we were 30 minutes late yeah 10 minutes i had mine done <laughs> and they had just finished theirs yeah and i was like you know what the same that I'm smarter, but You're I feel concise. like I am. I am yeah. taking care of my mind right yeah, now, dude. Self care is important. Past three days, I've been really messing up. Mm-hmm. But anyways, it's okay. Uh, we have our like moments, like our we have our moments. But yeah. last night, I kicked it into gear. I read, yeah, dude. I only read like ten pages, but it's and ten it's a, pages it's more a than choice the night you before. have to make every day, like with everything. Yeah, like, you just have to have discipline. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, man. But anyways, I, I encourage everyone. You don't have to read. But I have a little pen that says read book. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to read, but don't be on any electron- electronic device. Don't be sedentary either. I've been sleeping. I've been going to sleep so sound. You know how I told you about how I was having some like terrible like mm-hmm. thoughts before bed? Mm-hmm. Ever since I started reading? Because you're tired. You can't have those thoughts. You're just yeah. Ever since out, I started man. reading, I'm like, oh. yeah. And my imagination. And is- it's so pure because you're getting tired from a organic yes like, pro- you're not getting tired from screen screen time or a or but if a i do get on my TV. phone mm-hmm. blue light filter yeah there you go that's that's good to be living that time small, fuck, <laughs> yeah ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man <laughs> well it's because of people that i've listened to as well but yeah shit that shit <laughs> yeah. out okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching commenting subscribing liking uh thank you to bell Jason. notifications yeah bell notification hit the bell Thank you so much to Jason for not only that amazing art on the wall, but caring enough about us to get pick up that crown royale. And happy birthday. Happy late birthday to you. Let me tell you something. Jason, I never told you happy birthday. I think I did tell you, but I'm telling you. You again. did. I remember seeing it. Please don't take it as offense that I don't say happy birthday. I don't say happy birthday to anyone, hardly even Sable. Mm-hmm. Like on Facebook, you mean? No, even in person. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I love you, Jason. Thank you for all you've done. I'm sorry that I have, I've not been a better friend. Yeah, I mean, me too. I, I'm sorry that we didn't get a chance to hang out when you were here, but it was a crazy week. That was To be fair, night. he was only here like a few days yeah. that I know of. Yeah, but 
Shout out to Jason. And shout out to anybody who clicks like on this video right now. <laughs> Vinny, subscribe. Vinny, I'm talking to you. I think you're listening right now. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. <laughs>